On the first morning, I was prospecting for bones and saw a dinner plate sized piece of bone exposed in the desert. I GPS the location, I give it a field number, and I move on and I start to prospect for some other sites. This is 2005, so I put on my iPod um, and put on some heavy metal. And I walked basically up the side of a mountain, um, you know, thinking that I was gonna find the next big thing. But I turned around when I got to the top of the mountain and I saw my three Argentine colleagues, Marcelo Luna, Lucio Ibariku, and Gabriel Casal, all kind of gathered around this spot that didn't really look like it was much of anything. And so I go down there because they're lingering there. Maybe they'd found something interesting. I returned to the spot where I had found the bone and I saw something astonishing. They have about a half of a leg bone exposed, half a femur. The bone is six foot three long, so we knew we had a giant titanosaur. And soon, other bones start appearing. When we began to excavate the tail, it was really a thing of beauty. It was articulated, meaning that the bones were still touching each other like they were in life started to see that this was giving us our best window yet into the anatomy of the largest creatures to walk the planet. 